Oh my God. Let's see what's going else is going on in Milwaukee. This is this is <laughs> this is a crazy town. <laughs> I spoke with her mother and one of her friends today. They're not ready to go on camera, but they did give me some pictures, which you're seeing now on your screen. Maya Allen was shot and killed in the early morning hours of August 29th, just days before her 36th birthday. We got a copy of the criminal complaint, which identifies the shooter as Clayton Hubbard. He faces one count of first degree reckless. Florida. Glad of trying to get him some, trying to get him some, 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 some bussy, some boy, some boy, some boy pussy. Probably by carries and then got mad after. Yeah, trying, trying to get him, trying to get him some boy butt. It's probably like, butt. damn, I'm not gay. Fuck. Trying to get him some butt. Look at them shoulders, man. Um, and 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 and. Yeah, oh, man. Dude. Oh God, dude! <laughs> Buyer's remorse has got to be held with these guys, man. Strong ass shoulders, man. God damn. <laughs> and this Glado was like, this Glado, he, he's like, fuck that shit, man. I can't. Hey, Cause here's the thing too. Um, every fucking um transgender that gets killed in this country is black too. Just about every single one. You rarely see a white transgender getting killed. Um, and it's it's just like, damn. This this is shocking that a white guy. This is shocking that a white guy killed a black transgender. Usually 99% of the time is a black guy killing a black transgender. You but, know, sorry to uh, talk over you. I, I'm just yeah. going to say, like, I'm I'm thinking, like, maybe she or he, she, them, they, whatever, was maybe running their mouth. Or he's probably nervous that they're going to run their mouth after this. Or, the, or this is I, a fucking guy in this is a guy. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I'm saying like, I'm saying like, and it was natural c caveman beef. Maybe he was like, he probably thought the glider. He probably maybe an argument happened. He was like, oh, I'm still a black dude. I'd knock you out. And the glider, <laughs> what is that? You, I mean, it, I don't know, man. I, I mean, these situations are crazy, man. In Hubbard, he faces one count of first degree reckless homicide, use of a dangerous weapon. According to the report, Allen met Hubbard at a gas station. He left. She left afterwards, and he picked her up down the block. When they approached her apartment, she got out of the car, and a witness says they started arguing. That's when Hubbard fired a single shot. Allen later died from her injuries. Wow, he ain't even come nowhere near the booty, man. What happened, man? He probably realized it was a man. Mm. I can think of two songs. Lola by the Kinks and what made real what made Milwaukee famous made a loser out of me. <laughs> this I, I think that sounds that sounds plausible, Miss Barry. He because listen, man, if I would have picked this joint up, I'd have been looking over the whole ride. I'm like, hold on, man. The way she that seat creaked when she sat in when she got in the car, the seat probably like, <laughs> like I mean that's usually the story, right? That's usually how it goes when they get when they get killed. It's because the dude realized that they were with yeah. a dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, what remember the you remember the one with was it a young uh football player or something who went back after to the guy who was fishing and pretending to be a woman, and the dude was a sun man who went back and like bashed his head in or something like that i mean that's yeah, usually yeah. Yeah. yeah well it's two it's two things that mainly happen one thing about the black community too and i don't know how this is in the white community is that um there, there's a lot of home of like the shame of being home even if you are gay or a, a guy that's done some gay stuff it's still the shame of being called gay the first thing a woman will call you a black woman will call you when she's mad at you, or if there's an argument, she will say, "You got a little dick. You don't get no pussy, or you gay." A lot of dudes will go to that car if they if they if they want to make you feel bad, they'll call you gay. And I'm not talking about like you're gay; they're just using gay as a slur. So a lot of times in the black community, this is why every almost every transgender that gets killed in America is black. They'll out they'll threaten you with outing you. Transgenders will sleep with these guys in these neighborhoods and then threaten to out them. 
or out them. Like they'll be having a relationship with a guy, a D-boy. A he might be a hustler on the block. He might be a guy, you know what I'm saying, um, slanging some, some drugs, or he might even be a, a it guy in the community. And he's sleeping with transgenders on the sly. And they will out you. And when they do that, they get their heads knocked off because they're dealing with thugs and guys that are fucking serious. Uh, that's what I was trying to say before. I, I couldn't say it correctly, but that's exactly what I was trying to say. Yeah, that happens, man. That's a thing, man. Um, that's a thing, man. In the stand, man. Getting, getting your. Let me, let me, let me play you something right quick. Let me, let me, let me just, just switch gears. Salute to Mil- Milf Mandy. She says it can't be bargained with, can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. It <laughs> fear and it absolutely will not stop. Ever until you're dead. Um, facts. Um, let me let me just show you something, man. Um, th- th- that might go with this story. Um, Four dollars of a damn crystal snack or something. And going oh, on. What you mean, crystal? I mean, I, one of my friend was telling me last night on his side of town he lived on. It was some good looking black boys, young black boys, tall. One he said was six feet. Medium built, fine, had the jeans down, uh, hanging past his waist, past his butt, looking at him when he was out going to the store, flagging them down, man. They out on the stroll, flagging dicks down. These dope selling men out there dressed like thugs, selling crack, trying to get money for crack, is also out there trying to sell some dick, slash crack, sell some head. Oh. Right. Let them know they will that just like they got these signs that I will work for food. Let them know they will fuck for food. They will suck a dick for some food. They will suck a dick for some money. For and they snack. out there rationing out the dick and the nuts, rationing out the throat. Now, the, a lot of these men got girlfriends and babies at home. But this one told my friend last night, I just like to suck dicks. And I will suck your dick for whatever you give me. It was no particular amount that he had in mind. He's like, whatever you can scrape up and give me, I will take it. it Hell, matter. I'll suck your dick for nothing because I likes to suck dicks. That's what this young, good-looking boy that you would not think was $4 or a damn crystal snack or something. And going oh, on. What you mean, crystal? I mean, I, one of my friends was telling me last night on his side of town he lived on, it was some good-looking black boys, young black boys, tall. One, he said, was So that, that's the thing, man. I mean, you you have that, man, in, in a lot of these neighborhoods because one thing you have in a, in a lot of these neighborhoods, you have red light districts because they're ghettos or in their tough neighborhoods. Not every neighborhood has a red light district, but let's just say you have two or three red light districts in your city. They're all near Blackistan, right? So those neighboring areas... You have a lot of this with the guys from those areas. You know, just that's part of their existence. You got a fucking whole stroll down here with a bunch of he she's. They hustle right here. They're out all night. The he she's are out all night. They're in the same little area. Um, so look, do you th- go ahead? Go ahead. Oh, I was just wondering, do you? Do you think that um, there's some kind of hardware issue with uh, sun sexuality where in Africa, for example, sexual behavior is tightly regulated by customs, but in the States, it's more of a kind of a free for all. So, you know, there's more sort of a, there's a broader scope of ways that people get into sexual behavior among the, the sun people. Do you, you think there's well, anything like that going on? I mean, um, I think homosexuality is just a, a natural thing for people. I think the Greeks had it when the Portuguese showed up in Africa in Angola. Um, homosexuality was rampant in Angola. All the kings had boyfriends and little boys. Everybody was fucking little boys. Blah, blah, blah. Um, the Arabs, they a big part of their um, slave trade trade was male concubines which the cast they castrated the males and used them 
as um as as um s- s- um concubines, as sex sex slaves, and as um guards. Um, so like a, a homosexuality is deep rooted in the past um, cultures. It's n- it's not nothing new. The only difference is that we had kind of like othered it and put it to the side, and now it's coming back <laughs> to the mainstream again. Oh, for sure. It used to be capital, don't forget. Yeah, Catholics. You don't even no, get Catholics. Yeah, they capital, sleep with little yeah. boys. Like no, I mean, capital. As in, two two men were executed. Oh, capital punishment. Yeah. Two men were executed. Uh, two men were executed for consensual buggery in England as recently as 1835. Okay. Yeah, but I bet it was. It, it, you can't. If you executed all the people doing that, you'd be. You know. Salute to um Derek D, man. He says he um sends he sends um the cash app, man. Salute to him. Salute to Eric S, man. Send in the cash app. Um salute to you guys, man. Um uh salute to um hold on. Um my man Doug G for the ten dollar challenge, man. Salute to you, bro. Um let's see. Um TCT says for the porch fund thanks for continuing the great work man yeah salute to you tct man tcc thank you for your service man that's um one of our um country's finest man um salute to op nation um hall of famer society of benevolence coming through once again man um yeah there's a lot of he she hanky panky going on in all societies we know white people it's rampant in white communities we know it's rampant in black communities. Um, this is just this is just part of it, man. There's a lot of he she stuff going on, and this just ended it bad. Um. They started arguing. That's when Hubbard fired a single shot. Allen later died from her injuries. Well, there was a lot of information in that criminal complaint, including the statement from Allen before she died. That's how they were able to name the suspect with that statement, with surveillance footage from the gas station and this neighborhood, as well as a search of the suspect's home. Clayton Hubbard is still on the run. So if you have any information, please call Milwaukee police. Saria Sandlin reporting live in Milwaukee. So a white dude killed a black person and no one's bitching about it. (laughs) <laughs> he got gone. He disappeared on the <laughs> Oh man. Um, um they kill a lot of transgenders. We did a story last night when we were in Milwaukee on a transgender 